God jul allihopa! I'm Alexandra, welcome to my channel and to this video specifically because it's Christmas Eve. If you didn't know, in Sweden we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. Um, yeah, today is the day. We just got up, the kids have been up for a couple of hours. Tyrion actually came into our room the first time at four and asked if it was time to get up, but it wasn't obviously. And just now we all actually got dressed and went downstairs and I am prepping breakfast right now. I think just after Christmas last year I found this recipe and I really wanted it for Christmas morning breakfast so I saved it for this year and we'll see if it's any good. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is because I think the kids and Michael can hear me in the other room and it's not super special, it's just not your everyday normal breakfast and that's exciting so we're gonna start our day with that and then we'll see where the day takes us. Christmas breakfast is done. Ignore the fact that the Christmas flower is basically dying. Um, so essentially this is, uh, or these are saffron bun French toast is what they're called. And then we have hot chocolate. <laughs> Nana! I'm positive she's gonna like it because, I don't know, she likes anything that's sweet. We'll see about the others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to get yours. Here's yours. There you go. Can you get stuff? It's actually sushis too, but... Oh, what's that? She's like, no, give me the candy. I can smell the candy. Always a dorm with the Oh, oh, one hundred Mm-hmm. Look, I found the one that was like that, but it's a block of turquoise. No, it's not mine. You can have it. I'm going to put I think Miranda's favorite thing from her stocking was the hair ties. She kept pulling them out and wanting more. So she's looking kind of crazy but super cute right now. Up, up, up. Into yeah. top from Hannah. Ginny's still playing with her hamburger. Um, Miranda also got this little book and she got this dragon. This is um, the dragon from one of her favorite um, TV shows. So she got that. And what else? No, no, it's not for you. Oh, yeah, you got this too. Yeah. Basically just cheap little knickknacks. And then we have the pet stuff. Obviously I bought it so I know what's in here. But there's this little like chew toy slash... Um, my camera's acting up. Chew toy slash uh, toothbrush for Ginny. Whatever. Um, and then a little mouse for sushi. No, that's for sushi. And a new... Um, what's it called? necklace for sushi um, some dog treats what else is in here another chew toy thing looks kind of weird to me <laughs> but it was cheap oh she's loving it she's playing with her tooth toothbrush thing you're supposed to chew it not play with it and then the last thing is just some gourmet cat food. <laughs> anyway, we, I'm gonna open mine now and uh, the kids are playing and yeah. <laughs> My uh, stocking was very um, like, care, no? yeah, beauty or like body care centered. So this is for taking your makeup off. You can put this on so you don't get your hair wet. And then I got three face masks, I think. Yeah, a coconut one, no, avocado one, um, a tiger one, and a self-bubbling panda one. And then I got this uh, body scrub, um, dry shampoo, and okay, this was not on theme, but this 
adorable tiny little Nutella yeah. jar. I mean, I'm gonna keep this jar forever. It's adorbs. And I'm already thinking, maybe I can either, maybe I can put like my earrings in here that I always lose. Cause it's so tiny, but so perfect. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. I'm gonna take this off now cause it's very, very tight. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, I'm not sure. We were talking about maybe going to a playground to kind of make time pass quicker for the kids because they're obviously just looking forward to opening presents. Uh, but also I need to prep a bunch of food for lunch. So we'll see what happens now. First off, we're gonna brush our teeth. I'm gonna put some makeup on and uh, we're gonna listen to Christmas music and just have a nice, calm, Christmassy morning. Ooh. <laughs> they got these in their stockings. They're basically supposed to like brush and hack and stuff away so that they can find a little dinosaur bone in there or something like that. Oh, that's so yummy. Up, 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 up. It's not for you. <laughs> okay, I've got makeup on and I'm trying to find lighting that doesn't make my eyes look like they have the worst bags ever. But I can't find good lighting. But in real life, I don't think I have bags because I obviously put makeup on them. So I'm not sure. It's something about the lighting. Let's just ignore that but yeah i feel kind of fancy i almost never put makeup on other than like mascara and a little bit of concealer so this this is a nice change um also i'm already stressed that i'm gonna like rub my eyes and ruin it all but whatever we're just gonna stay at home and so for that reason it feels kind of silly to put makeup on i even like decided not to dress up or whatever so i'm wearing my lounge dress from bali brand um but i really wanted to put some makeup on so i did um also i just looked up if i had a playlist on my channel of all of our christmases uh, or like christmas vlogs and i don't so that's weird i'm gonna make one and put it in the card right here or here there right not sure um and uh yes yeah, so you can go check that out if you want to i've been this should be yeah, this must be the seventh Christmas that I vlog and I can't imagine I've ever missed like Christmas Eve. No, I can't have. I should have, I would have remembered if I had decided not to film on Christmas Eve. Um, what are you doing? She's playing with something. I don't know what, but oh yeah. She's playing with one of the kids' new toys, but I don't think she, they care much. Um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, so I'm gonna make that playlist and we've been vlogging for a few years now and it's gonna be exciting for me too to go back and just see how the kids have grown and how our um, traditions have probably been going pretty strong every year except this year of course because of the pandemic but we are making the best of it I made this hat a few weeks ago and I felt like it was a little bit over the top. It is very red and it also has like, I don't know if you, know if you can see, but it has gold thread in it too. But today it's not over the top. I'm liking it today. And also we're going to the playground, like I said, always get my way. <laughs> We're here and we're excited. It's a very new playground because they're not even done yet. There are a few parts that are sealed off because they're not done, but I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. And the kids are excited. Look, it's called the Viking playground. And that seems quite appropriate because there's a lot of like, there's a big Viking ship like structure and whoa. Um, our municipality where we live is actually, I think, the one in, in entire Sweden uh, that has the most um, rune stones. I'm not sure if that's what it's called in English, but you know, like they found lots of civilizations from a long time ago um, in our municipality. So that's kind of what it's known for in a way. And I think that's really cool because I love 
like the old mythology and history as well, like real history. Come in on. I am rushing to get all the different food things started. Mm, what do I want? This one, I think. Um, and now I'm making a test meatball to see if the salt level, level is good. I'm also... I am doing a test meatball to see that the salt and everything is good before I start rolling the rest of them. We also have pre-made meatballs because that's the only kinds that the boys like. Um, so yeah, uh, usually I, or a lot of years I've been like, well, too bad for you, I'm just making meatballs. But this year I was like, we can have both. It's okay, we can have both. And I'm also having the potatoes go. And then I have this um, kind of like potato and salmon casserole in there. Here's the meatball mixture. We have the very typical Swedish Christmas bread right here. What else? Woo! We need, of course, the prepared meatballs and also the tiny little sausages. That's also very typical of Swedish Christmas. And we have cold salmon with a specific sauce for that. Basically no vegetables. I think there are a couple of like traditional Christmas dishes that have a lot of vegetables in them. Um, we just don't eat those. I don't know why. It's, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we just don't. Also we have the ham, but we'll wait for that a bit. Um, I don't know, I think that's most of it because Obviously since, since, oh, I need to boil eggs. I knew there was something else. Um, obviously since it's just us, just our family, we're not like doing everything that we could possibly have on the, the Christmas lunch table because it's just, it's too much. It's too much work and too much food. So we're doing the most important things for, for us specifically. And I think it's gonna be good. I'm really happy, especially with the going to the playground thing. I'm really glad we did it and I, the entire family is because we had so much fun and it's the funny thing is last year uh, i think on christmas eve or maybe the day after i was like we should have gone to like a playground or specifically one of those indoor play area play houses um and i said from next year on as long as we have little kids we will go to leo's lekland as it's called which is um one of those playlands that is pretty close to us we go there every Christmas morning and they can get kind of their energy out and we'll kill some time instead of them just nagging us uh, for things to happen. Um, and that was going to be our new tradition. And then of course the pandemic happened and the playland right now is not a good thing. So I've been kind of bummed that that tradition couldn't happen. I'm just going to put you right here because I need to keep track of my food. Um, I've been bummed. Yeah. Um, and then I realized when we were at the playground and I was just standing there kind of at the top of the Viking ship thing, looking at the kids and just being like, oh, this is awesome. We should do this every year. And then I was like, wait, this is what I had planned to do. Only I had thought that we would be inside and now we're outside. And I think, so that's our new tradition. We're gonna go either to a playground or a playland or whatever it is most, um, the best idea for that year and what's happening with the pandemic or yeah, whatever. And that's gonna be our tradition. The morning of Christmas Eve, 
we're gonna go just have some time for the kids to play and get some energy out and I'm really happy about that because for the past few days I've been really uh, bummed about Christmas being so different this year and I think a lot of us have especially all of us who love Christmas it's just a hard pill to swallow that we can't do it the way we're used to um, and I also my friend said that oh I understand the feeling maybe you can start some new Christmas traditions so that you get like something to kind of liven it up and I was like oh yeah that's fun maybe we could buy matching pajamas for all the family because I know some families at least in America do that for Christmas but it was kind of too late too late to order for them to get here in time for Christmas so that was a bust and um, yeah I've just been kind of grumpy about it and now we have a new Christmas tradition so yeah I'm happy I am gonna stop rambling now because this vlog is gonna be so long and I'm not gonna want to spend the entire night after Christmas uh, editing the video so I guess cue a montage of food and eating and yeah all of that good stuff yummy food here I'm really happy I thought that our little Christmas lunch table would be kind of sad but I don't think it is I think it's it's got all of the must-haves so yeah we've got the bread and the sausage and the eggs and the nasty fish that I'm not gonna eat and the yummy fish that I am gonna eat and some vegetables and yeah all the things from the table I just need to wipe it off we actually started having a zoom call with my dad and his family just as we started eating so that's why I turned the camera off and it was really fun we're still having the call going because now we are gonna go ahead and open the gifts from each other I mean the kids are gonna get to open the gifts from my dad and his family and vice versa and that's kind of fun so we can still be together kind of when we open each other's gifts and uh, it's kind of chaotic because the kids are trying to get attention and stuff but I think it's still fun it's still a very very fun way of still getting to kind of please be in contact while we're opening presents and while we're having lunch and everything but doing it in a very pandemic friendly way I know lots of I would say most of my friends or people that I know are still celebrating with family in some kind of way like in person but we just felt like I mean our family's five people and then if we added my dad's family there will be nine people already and then my brother and like it's just it just felt like this would be the safest way to do it so that's where it is now let's open some presents oh vilka sköna ser du vad det är för någonting är det slytherin Ja, det är Slytherin och Gryffindor! <laughs> Tack! Någon är, är taggad! Det man ska jag ha i kväll! Ja, det är mina! Now we are watching... This is also a very Swedish tradition to watch this show that goes at the same time every year on Christmas Eve. 
It's just called Donald Duck in Swedish, but uh, it's basically a, a medley, I guess, of lots of different Disney clips, and most of them are the same each year. So it's kind of repetitive, but a very nice tradition too. And once this is done, we are gonna start wrapping, or not wrapping gifts. Oh gosh, we're gonna start opening gifts. Opening. That is a lot of presents. <laughs> Last year. Michael and I bought one gift for the entire family. A Switch. What's it called? Uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, and we didn't buy any other like individual gifts. This year we changed things up a bit, <laughs> or actually we, we did it like we normally do. But also we have lots of gifts from gifts from other family members. So we need to get going with this, or we're gonna have to go to bed real late. Och Myran och Tyrion. Så de kan vi lägga här. Här är till alla barnen i familjen. Så lägger vi den där. Barnen korsvingen ska ut till Tyrion. Är det där du står och lagt mig? Det är nog vattnet. Jag har vattnet i julen. Det är vattnet. Vad är det? 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 Board game later. Board. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Board game later, but we will see how that goes. <laughs> um, Miranda's in bed though. She was really tired, so I think she fell asleep right away. And I am gonna end the video here because uh, I want to end it the vlog right now. <laughs> Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more of our family videos. And we will see you when we see you. And thank you for watching today. Hello.